What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Marketing with Dev. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this. The topic of discussion today is going to be why your ads are not converting. So there's many, 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 many different reasons why your ads may not be converting. But in this specific video, I'm going to be talking about three things that are probably really impacting your ad performance. So let's talk about it. So the first reason why your ads are not performing is because you really don't know who your ideal prospects are. You really don't know who your ideal clients are. And since you don't know who they are and you don't know what they like, you don't know their pain point, you cannot properly develop a message to sell to these people, right? So if you don't know who you're trying to sell to, you can't sell anything to them, which is why it's super important that you're always doing market research because when you're doing market research, you really get deeper insights of who your ideal clients are, who your ideal customers are, what they like to do what they don't like to do what their pain points are what are their goals what are their dreams do they have a family do they want a family what do they do for fun all of these different types of things that may sound trivial but i promise you when it comes to advertising creating advertising videos creating advertising copy all of these things come into play because when we are advertising we're only speaking to who we're speaking to we're not speaking to everybody so everybody may not resonate with the message that you're trying to speak but the people who are in your market will which is why you need to know who these people are what they like so you can tailor a specific message that is just for them you want when somebody sees your ad they're like whoa this person is talking to me or whoa how do they know i was going through that and you can only get a response like that if you do the work and you do the study to actually know what these people are going through. If you don't know what they're going through, it's hard to write copy and it's hard to create creatives that are speaking to these pain points if you don't even know them, right? That is the biggest mistake by far and the biggest reason why your ads aren't converting because you don't even really know who you're trying to show your ads to. You may think you know who you're trying to show your ads to. Like, oh, well, I want my, I'm, I'm showing my ads to business owners. I only want business owners to see it. What kind of business owners? How much money are these business owners making? It just can't be service level. We have to go deep. You have to go really deep to find out who we're really trying to target. And then why are you trying to target these people, right? So you're trying to target business owners, but again, like I said, you need to know what kind of business owner. Are they a product business, service business? How much money do they make? But also, why do you, why is your product or service fit for business owners? That's something that you need to be able to answer as well. So doing the proper research is going to help you discover all of these things and it's going to make it so much easier to create creatives and make it so much easier to write copy, make it so much easier to create your landing pages. Everything is easier when you know who you're talking to, I promise. So the second reason why your ads are not converting is because your copy is not well written since you don't know your ideal client's pain points, right? Since you didn't do any market research, since you don't know what your ideal clients are going through, it's almost impossible to write compelling copy because a large part of compelling copy is eliciting emotion. But if you don't know anything about me, if you don't know what makes me emotional, if you don't know what makes me happy, you don't know what makes me sad, you don't know what I'm going through, it's hard for you to create compelling copy when you don't know anything about me. You cannot elicit an emotional response from someone if you don't know what makes them tick, if you don't know what makes them happy, if you don't know what they like, if you don't know what they don't like, which is why it's super important Going back to point one, that we do market research because when we're talking about a platform like Facebook, we have a whole lot of room to write compelling copy. We have a whole lot of room to be able to sell using that copy. But if you don't know who your ideal clients are, if you don't know what they're going through, their pain points, all of that copy is going to be wasted because you're going to be talking generally and you're going to be trying to advertise to everybody instead of advertising to that one specific group of people that you're looking for. And that's why it's super important that we do that market research and we find out who it is we're looking for. And point number three is that your targeting is just way off, right? So I see a lot of times when I'm working with people, they're targeting all these different types of interests that their ideal client probably wouldn't actually be interested in, right? So, which is why I give you guys a three layer targeting system that you guys can use to make sure that you're always targeting the proper interest for your industry or for your niche. So the three layer targeting system is this. The first layer is going to be things that are directly related to your product or your service, right? The second thing is going to be things that are closely related to your products and your services. And the third thing is going to be things that your ideal customers or your ideal clients also like. So I'll give you an example for each. If we go with layer one, 
things that are directly related to your product or your service. If I have a Facebook ad offer, then an interest that would be directly related to my product or service would be online advertising. Going on to number two, if number two is things that are closely related to your product or your service, if I chose an interest like digital marketing for my same Facebook ad offer, that would be something that is very closely related to my product or my service, right? Exactly. And if we go down to layer number three, things that your ideal clients are also interested in, a show like Shark Tank would be great, right? It's a show for entrepreneurs about entrepreneurs. Business owners who are running Facebook ads would most likely be interested in that. That's just a quick example of how you can use the three layer targeting system. So always find your target audience to make sure that your targeting is never off. Because if you're spending money on these ads, you don't wanna be spending money showing your ads to the wrong people. You need to be making sure that your targeting is on point so you can be showing your ads to the right people who would actually be interested in what you have, right? So let's put all these points together, right? Let's start with point number one, which was you don't really know your prospects. If we really learn who our prospect is, right? And we know what their pain points are, it leads us to point number two. Then we can be able to write compelling copy that's going to elicit a response. Now moving on to point number three, once we have one and two down, all we need to do is make sure that we're showing our ads to people who are actually interested in what we have. So those are the three reasons why your ads aren't converting. Those are not the only three, but those are the three reasons that I wanted to speak about in this video. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos like this. But more importantly, make sure you guys are actually implementing the things that I'm teaching you into your own business. All of these things, all of these insights come from experience. So make sure you guys are listening and taking heed to that fact. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.